Foam fighters. I got Claire here, and uh, we are going to be doing the build video on the MF35 Thunder. Okay. Um, we got all the pieces laid out for you. So, uh, Todd, why don't you come on in? We'll show you exactly what you need for the electronics. We got these all prepped up for her and ready to rock and roll. So, we've got the MF motor mount with a 226, 2212-6 uh, motor on there, brushless, ready for her. Doesn't have to be Turnigy Plus, just some sort of 30 amp or more brushless ESC. It's already hooked up for her in her uh, receiver. It's the regular Spectrum receiver. Going to, what I like about her design is that we're only using two servos. Um, we're using the 90S's. These are easy to use. And she'll show her cool feature that she did that will tell you exactly where to throw um, the servos um, for that. And then that's pretty much it. You got your control horns. Um, and now we're ready to go. We got two of them so that I can build alongside you. And plus, I want one too because this is pretty awesome plane. All right, so Claire's got all her pieces out, and Tyler, you can kind of scan the, the table here. And um, Claire's going to take you through what pieces you need to have um, ready to go for the build. So Claire, go for it. Okay, so right here we have the bottom wing, um, and then what we did is you have to separate into four pieces in order to cut out in the laser. So we just already attach those together and make things quicker. And then we threw these pieces in as well. And then we have um, the top wing over here. So that it's just as it says, top wing. So it's going to go above the bottom wing. Uh, this is the and then we have the belly pan right here. And then you need uh, a fuselage. Okay. And then the bottom fuselage is right here. You need a top fuselage. Uh, you need your canopy. You need your uh, the top of your nose. Yeah, the, the nose. Yep. And then you need your stabilizers. And then just uh, an extended piece of the top wing that we didn't get to have attached on in the laser printer. Sweet. Okay, so we've got um, the next piece we need to let them know is what to crease and what to take out. So um, for this one, there was no beveling except for this front leading edge. I don't know if you can see this, Tyler. Um, we'll have to, uh, on this piece here, we're gonna have to bevel the front of this, and we'll do that. Um, this was easy, you just snapped it and just glued it in. Mm -hmm. These pieces come with it, you just cut them out and stick them on the ends. So you'll bevel from that line here. I don't know, can you see it, Tyler? So we have a, she's made a little guideline for you guys. So that line from here all the way down should be beveled. And that helps with the main one. And then like she said, her fuselage piece, you crease these. And then you bevel all of those fronts there. And there'll be little bend marks in here that you can help form the nose. This piece here uh, looks like we just did the bevel, or not the bevel, but we just took a marker and bent all these. And then this one was, you just stick your blade in and you cut off all the sides. So you just peel away all the sides. Yep, and then this right here, you just bevel. Okay. And then like she said, her belly pan piece, creased it with the marker. She's cleaned out her holes for the um, bottom fuselage piece. These two pieces are for bending it up. Okay, she's got to fuse those pieces together. This one is beveled along the corners. And then this side right here, we just used a marker to crease it. You've got your four creases in here. Bevel all along the sides there. Stabilizer, nothing, right? The main wing, you bevel the front leading edge of the wing, crease the two lines in the middle, and that helps to form the, uh, the airfoil, and then bevel your control surface. And then for this piece, what she did was just marker that, and then bevel 
the outside of that so that it'll match that. That should be it. Let's start building this thing. All right, all right. So first, what you're going to do is you're going to grab your fuselage and your belly pan and your motor. And what you're going to do is you're going to take a fuselage and bend it like this. And then you're going to dry fit it to make sure it fits in there good. <coughs> and then once you see that it fits in there good, you're going to see if your mo see how your motor mount fits in there as well. And you're just going to throw your motor mount in there, kind of size it to make sure that it fits in. Don't glue it. And then um, take that out and take this out. And then you're just going to glue all the way down here in, in the teeth and then all the way down the rest of it. Don't glue the motor, right? Do not glue the motor. All right, so what's next? All right, so next what you're going to do is you're going to fit your motor mount in there. You're going to go like that and just fit it in. And then you're going to throw some glue on the tabs. And you're going to throw it all the way outside your motor as well. Like down here and all the way around. Not on the top, right? Not on the top. Okay. Stick it in there? Yeah. Okay. And make sure it fits really snug and uh, it's not moving or anything. Okay. Keep it level. Keep it level. Okay. And then once we have that glue in, what else? Then what you want to do is you want to go on the outside and you want to just throw a bead of glue down here and down here. There's no thrust angles, it's just a pusher, so get down there as best you can. How's yours look? Sweet. Okay. Yeah. Alright, good job, Claire. Alright. What's next? So we're gonna throw these to the side real quick, and then can you have my top wing and my bottom my top two wings and then my bottom wing? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So since these sides, okay, so these sides are already pre-beveled, and then uh, so are these sides. So what you want to do is you're going to lay out your wing, just do one at a time. And there's, so there's two lines right here. You want to line those two up, and then you want to flip it over. Hope to keep them aligned as much as you can. And then you just want to tape on the back side, and then throw glue on this side, and throw glue back on after it's taped, and fold it over, and have the wing. Sweet. So let's go... Hello for the viewers. So, um, okay, how, how about you move this one? Let's try this. It's gonna get a big tape. Yeah, it's like you were saying. So, about half of the tape on uh, the bubble side of the wing. I'll keep mine down. And then. Oh, oh, oh. Let's cut that extra stuff out. Anybody got a blade? Yep. Bring it over. Oh, sweet. So you want to cut yours? And so what we're doing here is just cutting off the excess tape. We don't need it. Okay, so... Okay. So now, so you said we, we have to then fold it over? Yeah, but you have to fill the thing in glue too. Okay. Practice folding it over too. Oh, that is perfect. Okay, so you said throw some glue down the here. Middle. Okay, throw glue here. Mm, or no, yeah. not yet. The glue there and there, right? Okay, and then down east to mm. straighten them up. Yeah, so she, you can always just kind of crack them open and then fold them over. Mm -hmm. All right, go for it. Take your time. I'll do mine. This is like the make or break of your wing right here.
Well, what's cool about this one is that you just you don't have to uh, put these servos inside just yet, which is kind of nice. I do this nice, yeah. Day two now, during lunch, um, what's the next step? Okay, so you're gonna take your top and bottom wing that's now combined and attach it to your fuselage. First, what you have to do is dry fit it. You take the top pieces like this and put them on these. Okay. After you dry fit it, so that, that'll work, uh, take them out and also account for these things back here too. Cool. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your glue gun and you're just gonna glue it down. This does not. Sounds good, coach. Now, do we do a lot of glue, or? As so much as you feel you need to. You're, so you're just putting it all over it? Yeah. This glue gun doesn't work very well. It's not? Is it not warm? It's warm. It's just coming out from Okay. Alright, I'm ready. Front tabs in first. And then second tabs in. Second. Um, you get it? Oh yeah. Looking good. Okay, so after you attach the top and bottom wing to the fuselage, what you're gonna do is, and after you let dry and everything, then you're gonna take these pieces like this, and you're gonna dry fit it. You wanna dry fit it first? And yeah. then you wanna dry fit it first, and then uh, put them into the tabs that they go into. Sweet. And then once you see that it fits, you're gonna take them back out, and then you're just gonna throw a glue all the way down there. Okay. Same step on the other side. Perfect. Uh, if you want glue on the inside too. Might as well, you're gonna be landing on it, so we'll have it in pretty good. Oh yeah. That was easy. There you go. All right, so what's next? All right, so what we're gonna do next is you're gonna grab your front top pieces that we talked about earlier. And you're gonna attach those to this part <laughs> of your wing. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get some tape out. And you're gonna throw this on there like this. Mm, no. Like that. Oh yeah, because it curves. Yep. Okay. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put some tape on it. Let's go, we can cut that. So, like this? Yes, and then you're gonna attach it to the bottom. And kind of make it, try and even it as much as you can. Get it? Yeah. Okay, I'll and So once you tape it, then what? Then once you tape it, flip it back up and throw some glue right here and on the outside, but try and avoid putting it in on the inside. You want for it to be able to move. Also, have this kind of curve with it as you're putting it in. 
there. So Tyler, what I'm doing here is I'm just throwing some tape down the front to help kind of bend it over. So I'll lift this up and I'll throw some glue here. Glue on the top. And on the bin lines. I want to do this nice and slow. Down. Oh yeah. Where are we at, Claire? Well, what now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start building well we have most of the body done. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start building the nose cone. Uh, we these are completed now. Yep. All put on and we're gonna start showing you how to build the nose cone. And I'm gonna have Marshall take that part over for you got it! Okay, so the nose cone is tricky. Um, we get a lot of complaints about the nose cone. Nose cone just takes practice, and um, if middle schoolers can do it and they're doing it fine, then, then you guys can do it too. Um, first things first is we're gonna take about a two inch or so packaging tape. You might wanna come on over here so you can see this, and I'm gonna do yours first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the tape right up at the tip. Okay, I'm going to pretty much put it on the bottom of, of this piece here. Making sure that these just kind of rest up there nice and comfortably. I'm not going to pull them tight or pinch them. Some kids pinch them. I hate that. Just, just make them nice and comfortable. And then you just bring it up like this on one side. And then you bring it up like this on the other side. Take the glue gun. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to work the inside crevice here, but I'm going to go light because the tape will will rip. And so all I'm doing right now is just kind of nice and light, kind of going, getting it in there. You can always cut it later. Come back. Kind of fill it in. As you can see, the tape's kind of pulling up, but this right here is it's pretty good. Okay, so she's let this dry and she's removed some of the masking tape, so good there. So now what's next? All right, next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna grab this piece and you're going to, uh, after you've beveled and everything and put the Sharpie through it, you're gonna put the glue inside the lines where you uh, took your pen. And that does what? Uh, it's gonna form it or like hold it so when you put it on here and so as it's drying you're gonna place it on here so it can form uh, to the plane and what the plane needs. So pull it together and kind of place on the line and check the front and make sure everything's like lining up and just hold it until you think the glue's dry. Yeah and the big thing is you don't want to um, you don't want to like slant over so she'll have to keep on yeah, that looks great. Keep on looking at it, and then once it kind of dries up and hardens up, then we can start to go to the next step. So I'm gonna do the same to mine, and then uh, we'll do the actual cleaning of this on top. Okay, so now that uh, you have this form, what you're gonna do is you're gonna simply place it on the actual plane itself. So what you wanna do is you wanna put glue along the edges like this. Not too much glue, that, that it's dripping over, but a light glue to keep it on there. And then you're gonna place it on like this and go, put these underneath and form it. And then after it's glued, you're gonna put tape alongside it so it holds it in place and it dries correctly and how, how, you, want, how you want it. All right, all right.
Go. Blood <laughs> dry. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Good work. All right, so just for good measure, after you have this down and everything, take a small piece of clear tape and place it over the edge of the nose. Cool. Okay, so next what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab this piece. And after you uh, indented these lines, you're gonna throw some glue down both of them. You're gonna close it like this and you're gonna place it in here. and uh, all the way to the back, and you're just gonna let it dry in there and uh, try and hold these down to help it form how it's supposed to. Okay, so this is formed now, so, and don't worry about this area right here, we're, it's eventually going to be glued down, but now we're going to move on to the servos, and Marsh is going to take over for that one. Okay, so you got your, so what Claire did was she drew in her <laughs> servos here, um, and we want to make sure that you zero out your servos first, and then test them out before you put them in your plane, because you don't want to do all this, and then go to do your plane, and then you realize that you didn't do it right. So there's a, there should be a little gap in here that you feed your servo through, servo wire through. And then what Claire's gonna do is throw a little bit of glue on the bottom of this, and then she's gonna stick it on there. Okay, and then throw a little bit of glue on top, a little glue on the sides here, Claire, and that would be, that's it for you for there. Yep. So then what you'll do is, she'll come in here, and then you'll tuck it underneath the wing, so that will come up. Tuck it, tuck it, and then You'll throw some glue at the end of this, glue at the end of this, and you'll pretty much just pinch it down like that. All right, so we um, we're finished. Yeah. After doing the servos and you tuck them, you know, you tuck them in into the fuselage piece. The next thing you would do is, um, and what Clara did here, was she would um, cut some slivers in the foam board for the control horns and just make sure that they're matched up with the the line there. Um, pretty much just put the control horn in or the control rod in take it through there. You want to make sure that you um, turn on your system first to make sure that the uh, the servos are nice and, and balanced and it's zeroed out. You just tighten down the um, stoppers and then you're ready. So the next thing we did, um, she went ahead and did the stabilizers, right? Does it matter about the stabilizers? Uh, no, they can be at any position, like the degree doesn't matter. Okay, so they can go straight, sideways. I would say don't go more than, what, 60 degrees? That'd be fine. Okay, so now the next part would be the um, canopy and stuff. And so we'll, we'll sh show you that. But first off, how you hook these up. This is pretty, pretty simple. Um, here she has her um, ESC just mounted on with Velcro. Okay, and then the battery actually goes way in the back here, right underneath. Um, that kind of helps out the center of gravity. The uh, wires, we just kind of tangled them up and put them off to the side. But you got both servos going into both the aileron and the elevator section, making an elevon setup. Throttle goes to the throttle. You want to make sure all your signal wires are going towards the text. Okay, that whole, that whole uh, closest line there of, of pins is all the signal wire. Okay, she would then plug it up and then you're ready to rock and roll. Yeah. Now, if the throttle, um, if the air is, is going, you always keep it off the table and it blows towards you, you just simply switch either one of these two um, connectors here and, and you're good to go. Um, but other than that, she's, she's pretty much set. The last thing that you'd want to do is you want to do your, your canopy. 
and uh, she did a good job on her canopy here. So here's just a blank one. And so what we like to do is we like to close it up. Okay, and we throw some tape on, just regular masking tape on there first. And then we throw a bunch of glue inside all the crevices. And then when we have that, we actually place it on the front here and just kind of hold it, just kind of like all of our other shape methods. It, yeah. And then you shape it. And then once you're done, you take it off. Now for us, we just do something pretty simple and you guys might have a better um, way of doing it, but we just stick some metal rods inside the uh, front and the back, like that. And then go with the first side first in. First, find the hole. Okay, and then the back piece just slips on. Like Claire said before, it's, it's that compression piece, so be nice and tight on there, it goes through that hole. And it stays on there and it won't come off during flight. Now, if you're doing inverted and flipping it and doing some pretty dramatic stuff, then maybe you might want to just give it a little bit of tape and, and keep it down, so. So the center of gravity, I don't know if we figured it exactly what the real one out is. You wanna grab us a ruler real fast? So after, this is her prototype, and so, um, her main line is there. So from her testing. And what we'll do is we'll make it really simple. So from the back edge to the center of gravity is about two and three eighths. So we would go on the bottom here and she would make her mark from the back end here, two and three eighths. And then throw our battery inside the back and then make sure that we're pretty leveled out and then we'll be Set to go. Okay? Yeah. Other than that, Claire, you did a fantastic job on your build. You should be really proud of yourself. Um, this has taken months of work and um, it's all kind of paid off, and uh, you should be pretty proud of yourself. This is going to be our first female, first girl to actually you know, create and design her own plane and to actually have it. Um, you know, being sold. Garrett over at Altitude Hobbies loves the plane and he wants it in his stores now. <laughs> so very, very excited. I'm very proud of you. Good job. Um, I think it's time for us to uh, go charge some batteries and go fly these things. Yeah. Let's do it.